Hi guys, welcome back to another Sister Wives episode recap. This time it's for season 15, episode 6. The episode is called Different Wives and Rules. I wish I could tell you guys that this episode was chock full of amazing moments, but no way, aside from a few entertaining moments, including Cody's super traumatic <laughs> confessionals from Robin's garage, there were only a few moments that I thought were recap worthy. So here they are. Here are my top three moments of episode six. Number three, Janelle gathers the kids in her backyard to let them know she asked Cody not to come around for a while because A, Garrison is working at a construction site and Gabriel is out a lot with friends for some reason and she doesn't want to put the family at risk, which is understandable. We are talking about like late March 2020. Everyone was really freaked out. And dare I say, at the little talk, Gabriel acted a little entitled during the conversation. Remember when Gabriel didn't even want to be in Flagstaff? Well, now he seems to not be able to help himself from seeing his new girlfriend and friends during the pandemic and basically tells Janelle tough beans like if dad's not coming around for a month what's the point of not seeing anybody and then he says i'm not at risk oh boy gabriel like what about janelle's health though i don't know why but that moment rubbed me the wrong way honestly because i interpreted it as i'm going to see my friends and i don't care who that affects and you know what no bueno <laughs> number two Cody says he wants to sue the state of Utah. Yes, that's right. Cody and Robin announced to the kids in this episode around the kitchen table that a bill passed in Utah that makes polygamy more like a traffic ticket-ish offense than a felony, which is great. And Cody says that if he would be given a ticket like that in Utah for polygamy, he would be thrilled to sue the state of Utah. He said he would even sell Coyote Pass to do that. Like, wait, what? Robin tries to calm him down during this confessional. He's very excited about this topic um, and he's all about it. And she kind of nervously laughs next to him. I mean, that's a pretty bold statement to say on national television, right? Overall, though, it's a pretty big deal for the Browns that they don't need to be scared about living in Utah ever again. Like if they realistically wanted to go back, it seems like the path is clear for them finally after all that. So number three, at the end of the episode, Christine tells her girls about the bill passing in Utah and she asks them, you know, would you want to go back to Utah? I think she was looking for a heck yes, let's move back, home sweet home. But the girls, Gwendolyn, Isabel, and Truly were not so into it. Isabel said at one point, why can't we just pick a place and stay there? Which is a very valid point. Well, it seems like Christine wants to move back to Utah. She says in her confessional that she's about to tell Cody that's what she wants to do. And she kind of alludes to the fact that maybe she's thinking they should sell Coyote Pass and move back to Utah. Not sure if any of the wives would agree with her on that though, so I don't know how far she's going to get with that idea. So let's see what happens when she tells Cody about her idea of moving back to Utah. Not sure what he's going to say about that. Anyways guys, short and sweet today because I mean there wasn't a whole lot of meat to this episode, so it is what it is. I will catch you guys soon with another Sister Wives update. Bye!